case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In a case wrought with tension and turmoil, abortion advocates Narrell PA and several Pennsylvania-based clinics filed legal action against Operation Rescue and its leaders, alleging blatant disregard for a standing injunction against blockading access to abortion clinics. The case dated back to the Remote Healthcare Centers, RHCC, July 9th blockade, believed to be a part of Operation Rescue's Cities of Refuge campaign. The campaign, publicized and financed by Operation Rescue's Randall Terry, was inferred to be a direct violation of the revised permanent injunction. Despite irrefutable evidence against Operation Rescue, the leaders of the blockade, Randall Terry, Robert Lewis, and Joseph Roach, and in spite of considerable backlash, the Pennsylvania District Court denied the motion for contempt. This decision was largely influenced by an alleged failure to establish a clear link between Operation Rescue and the participants wearing red armbands at the blockade. This outcome, however, was met with an appeal from the disgruntled appellants, taking the matter to the United States Court of Appeals for the Third Circuit. Narl Pei and the affected abortion clinics insisted on the court's review of the procedural and legal inconsistencies that characterized the district court's decision. In a dramatic reversal, the appellate court dismissed the district court's ruling as flawed and deficient in overlooking the evidence provided. The appellate court addressed the misleading argument that Operation Rescue National and Operation Rescue were entirely distinct entities. The evidence exposed an overlap in membership and coordinated use of the organization's names, proving to be an illicit tactic to evade accountability. Remarking on the disregard of the district court ruling, the court ordered the case back to the district with clear instructions. Operation Rescue, as well as its leaders Randall Terry, Robert Lewis, and Joseph Roach, are to be held in civil contempt of the permanent revised injunction that was implemented on July 17, 1989. The district court is also required to conduct further proceedings in alignment with the appellate court's decisive opinion. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class. 